And you'll notice the analogy I use at Piggy Bank. Bugle Media, they took 12 million. 12 million pounds they took. Vision Asset Finance, 1.3 million. And the leasing companies, 3.4 million. They're not they're only estimates. But we think they're reasonable estimates. But the pyramid collapsed. In November 2018, the Shoppers Network stopped making any payments. <coughs> However, the good guy at the time, Rhino, in January 2019, <coughs> he looked at the business and thought, I've got 1,750 screens spread through the United Kingdom. This could be a good business. Why don't I take that on? So they actually took the business on. And they carried on then paying retailers or businesses their money, what they were due. In my case, 510 pounds. But in August 2019, it collapses again. And the reason it collapsed was because it was an unsustainable model. It couldn't, it couldn't work, it was impossible to work. For a start, screens weren't fitted with the right, um, the right hardware. In order for Coca-Cola and big financial firms to advertise on those screens, they need to know how many customers are looking at those screens. So they didn't physically have the right hardware, so it would never work. Rhino tried to source funding to retrofit all screens. But by that time, there was so much bad press coming out that there was no way any, any company such as Coca-Cola or Nationwide Building Society were going to advertise on those screens. You will need a, an approximately five million pounds after costs. So that's what they took away with them, we think. They're certainly not in this country anymore. We believe they're in Thailand now. Business left to pay the leasing companies. So you're out of pocket now. Some leasing companies have ended contracts. Now, if you're part of one of these leasing companies that go through, what you need to do is write these leasing companies a letter. And the reason is, is we have tier one and tier two leasing companies. Depend on your credit rating, if you had extremely good credit rating, you're tier one. Most of the tier one contracts were done by Gregory, Gregory. They will not do a deal. And the reason they won't do a deal, as I've already explained, they've already paid their money up front. However, 1 p.m. after LDF, they tier two financing. And what that means is they've only given half sums of the money to viewable in the first place. Ten thousand pounds, six thousand pounds, and not quite what it is. So they could have already recuperated their outlay by the money that you've paid. So if you're one of those, write them a letter and basically say you want to get out of your deal. We know there is already significant numbers of getting out of your deals. It's estimated that GC Financial Solutions Trainers get Trainers Grant is responsible for 90% of the contracts. These are the people that are playing hardball. They're a Belfast based company. They're not actually Grantly themselves, but they're an agent of Grantly. And this is why predominantly we mentioned Grantly, and predominantly that's who we're putting all our effort into. So who should we blame? Well, obvious. Bugle Media. But Bugle Media ran away. So are we really going to go after them and waste effort? Not really. But that's not to say when we have, well, hopefully solve this problem, somebody isn't going after them. Vision Asset Finance. Vision Asset Finance, the broker, they were the people that were sorting the lease. They're obviously to blame. And the reason they're to blame is they knew, and we've got evidence that they knew about the June contract, as in money in, money out. Plus, we've also got profit came before customer. So any business sat here, any small business knows that customers are the most important thing. And what I mean by that is, if we have a problem in our business, we sort it out straight away. We don't actually care too much about cost, because we know that customer's gonna come back to us. Well actually, are we gonna go back to them? Probably not, because most people don't need the leasing. That's why they're not interested either. And thirdly, and probably most importantly, <coughs> people that are taking your money, the leasing companies. Well, it makes sense that we go after leasing companies because what we want is to stop the contract. <coughs> However, they deny any knowledge of the June contract, as in the money coming back from the Uber Media or the Shops Network. And that's the main problem with, with taking them to court, is we've got to prove that they knew something about it. And the cases that have been lost in England are all due to the fact is, they can't prove that. 
Okay, no known duplicators. When we set this up, Colin, myself, Alfie, we knew that we couldn't win everything. Or if we were going to win everything, it was going to cost an awful lot of money. What I mean by that is, right from the start, when you signed that contract, trying to get all that money back. So what we said is, first of all, we have to manage expectations. Now you'll see right at the start, I said, I don't know if we're going to win. I really don't know. Some days I sit there and do a bit of work and think, yes, we've got we're, we're going to nail them here. And other days I think we've got no chance. <coughs> But actually, when I look at every single thing we're doing and everything we've done, I think we've got a very good chance. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's just the legal route, and you'll see that in a moment. We've got to fight the fight collectively. Those people that are on the WhatsApp group, sometimes there's negativity. <coughs> it's crazy to any negativity. You have to be positive. You have to all focus, so we're all doing everything together. We have to find solutions to end all contracts, and that's, I can't stress that no. We've heard so much on the WhatsApp group about the English group, and the Welsh, and the Scottish, and the non manners group. Well, actually, it doesn't matter where you are. What matters is to end all contracts. And that's been our aim, to end all contracts. And in liaison with the English group. I've been liaison with uh, Anne Marie's legal advisor for the past few weeks. Unfortunately, she lost the case today. The um, they are going to appeal. But all the information we provided to her, we couldn't use. But actually it's been a good thing because that case, <coughs> everything, the legal arguments that Greg used, we're going to get all these legal arguments. So it hasn't been too bad, and hopefully we'll win the appeal. Coordinate activities, and again you're going to see a lot of that at the moment. <coughs> well the primary aim is to ensure all businesses are not in pocket, pull back any payments that have not had an associated media payment. That's the primary aim. Compensation above this is not an objective. Right? That's not an objective at the moment. <coughs> and I'll now hand you over to Ian. Ian, how did I end up in this position? As Alan said, I've got a background in finance. I worked for um, investment banks in London and the Middle East, um, a commodity futures exchange in the Middle East, um, and uh, raising capital for small businesses in London all regulated positions, so I've got a sort of regulatory background. I'm now here, I 